The Children's Hospice Association Scotland, or CHAS as it's affectionately known, runs all three of Scotland's children's hospice services. Rachel House in Kinross, Robin House in Balloch, and the Inverness-based CHAS at Home service, which offers invaluable support to families in their own homes in the Highlands. But what does a children's hospice do? We offer a palette of respite care to children with life-limiting conditions and we try and work with the whole family. So we offer respite to parents, grandparents, as well as the children who are unwell. I think people think of hospices as being very sad and depressing, and, and the children here are, you know, are, are severely ill. A lot of them are severely disabled, but it's actually a really, really happy place to be. Mm. Everybody's always got a smile on their face, uh -huh. everybody uh -huh. has. Every family who uses Chaz has different needs and circumstances, just like this family. I have three children and my youngest daughter, Hazel, was born in August 2005. Um, and when she was born, almost immediately we knew there was something wrong and she ended up getting diagnosed with Sturge Weber syndrome. And she spent quite a long time in hospital, well she still does, but for the first year of her life, um, particularly just between so probably the ages of one and Christmas, sort of August to and Christmas. Probably five months in a row she, uh -huh. was, she was in hospital in York Hill. And, and she was very, very, very ill. Um, and it was actually the epilepsy nurse there that talked about the children's hospice. And she talked about Rachel House to begin with, but they said that Robin House was quite newly opened and it was probably nearer for us. And she contacted Robin House and then somebody came out to see us and then we came here for a visit. And that's really how it all got yeah. started. Robin House offers support by providing first-class care for the child and young people here, while at the same time giving families the opportunity to relax, recharge their batteries and have a break. Robin House offers short planned breaks for the child or young person and their whole family. It's my, my heaven on earth I get to come up here and, and, and be me. Everything just kind of falls into place when you're here. It's just a, such a brilliant place. It actually lifts your spirits. Um, when you come here, you know, you might come in and think, oh, you know, everything's going so bad, but you actually leave the place with a smile because it's, it's just fantastic. Um, the parents come along to Robin House as well, as the children, if, if that's what they want. And that's probably where we're a bit unique when it comes to respite. Um, other respite places tend, it's just the children that go, but we cater for the families, and that includes grandparents or aunties or friends, as well as um, the brothers and sisters as well. Um, the accommodation, although within the building, is separate to the children's bedrooms. Um, it's actually on the lower ground, so they're within the building, but they've got their own space as well, and that includes um, sitting rooms, small kitchen, if that's what they want to use. Um, it's all about choice. It's been a long time since, you know, that first visit it and everything but the the general impression you get is that it's just another home and that was the best bit about it there was nothing clinical about it robin house is purpose-built to provide home from home accommodation for up to eight families at any one time it was good to know as well that when i come in then with the boys that i could have my rest i didn't i, I got like the weekend off from my normal physio turning them at night you know toilet and having to brush your teeth, you know, just do all that, everything you do every day. And it's just nice then to spend time with my husband and there are two girls. And knowing that, you know, Gregor now, Nancy and Gary at the time, were getting cared for. Robin House offers a range of professional expertise, such as nursing and medical care. And it's got the very best facilities for children and young people with special needs. This snoozling room is designed to give sensory stimulation in a safe, relaxing environment, and you can see why it's become a firm favourite with everyone. And this hydrotherapy pool gives a supported form of exercise for those children and young people who may spend the majority of their time in wheelchairs or may be bedridden. It's also fun. Children and young people need to play. And children and young people with life-limiting conditions are no different, except they often need special facilities to explore their environment and to challenge themselves in the same way that every other child takes for granted. Everyone knows that children of different ages have very different likes and dislikes, and the children and young people using Robin House are no different, so the hospice has to have all bases covered. 
So Robin House offers lots of activities, such as the chance to get involved in making music, creating art, or going on trips like to the cinema or to concerts. It really depends on what the children and young people themselves want to do. I look forward to just talking to other people that are in and going into the games room and playing computer games with them and just having a laugh. Yeah. I think what we look forward most is probably seeing folk that we know and just uh, chatting, having a laugh, playing some music and stuff, just enjoying the free time and seeing our friends. So. And what uh, gets you away from the house and stuff like that. So I suppose it's always good to have a break. I think Greg knows the minute he walks through the door um, that he is here and he knows exactly the experiences that he's going to have. He loves the snow slim, he likes interacting with all of the other children. The carers are second to none and they never ever come home empty handed. The care team work hand in hand with social services and extend spiritual support to those that want it. Chas also are always there 24 hours a day so that families can phone any time, day or night. And Chas can provide emergency care at either hospice or in the child or young person's home. The excellent staff are complemented by very many dedicated volunteers from all different backgrounds who together provide a varied and invaluable pool of experience and dedication. The volunteers are amazing. I mean, the people that come in, when you arrive on the Friday night and you know, we come straight from work, so you're getting here at five o'clock, half past five, and your meal's ready for you, you know, and they're like, oh, just leave your bags, you know, somebody will take them up for you. When you come in, if you're just in at that sort of time, just leave them, we'll, we'll sort your bags, we'll leave them at your room for you. And the food, and oh, it's just fantastic. And as I say, the volunteers come in to babysit. You know, they'll phone us and say, right, are you younger and wanting to go out? We can arrange a babysitter. And it's difficult when you're at home because you need somebody who can deal with Gregor, not just the girls, you know, so somebody that can toilet Gregor. So when you're here, you know, Gregor's getting dealt with and the girls have got somebody to come in. At Robin House, they will look after your child or young person, leaving you to decide whether you wish to take part in group meals upstairs or prepare your own in the comfort of your own area downstairs. You and your child will have separate rooms, which the staff will modify with personal items to make sure it feels like a home from home during your stay. And when you stay for a planned break, you can come as a family and enjoy some relaxation and time together, or you can leave your child in their care while you catch up on things back at home or take a holiday. Whatever you choose to do or not to do, it's always up to you. Chaz will try and fit into your needs and wishes. Instead of getting up every morning at five to start your medicines and drugs and feeds before you go and do your own work, there's somebody here who'll do that for you. For a charity like Chaz, the level of the support they provide would be impossible were it not for volunteers. Chaz volunteers can be of any age or walk of life. Some are young people still at school, others are unemployed, retired or taking a career break. Many more are in full-time employment. But what all Chaz volunteers have in common is endless enthusiasm. They want to help, to share their skills and to make a difference. As the end of a child or young person's life approaches, care staff will work alongside staff at home or in hospital to ensure that everything that can possibly be done is done to support the child or young person and their families. And that support carries on after the child or young person's death for as long as the family needs it. We've included a separate section on this DVD which tells you about bereavement support that Robin House offers to families. If you wish to view this, simply select the option from the menu. I would say if any parent feels they could do with a facility just to speak to somebody because they were very, very welcoming to us. It yeah. was probably the only thing that we hadn't had to fight for, or hadn't had to fill forms in for and hadn't to, had to apply for. We, we spoke to somebody, they came out to visit and they literally sat down and said, when would you like to come? I'd like to thank the staff and the volunteers very much for making this, you know, the stay actually very comfortable, enjoyable and making you feel welcome. Because the minute you walk through that door, everybody just can't do enough for you and it's a complete kind of takeover. Rachel House and Robin House and Chaz at Home are about improving the quality of life. They're vibrant, life-affirming places. And far from being a sad place, 
It's a wonderfully enriching celebration of every child and young person's potential and of life itself, however short it may be. Chas welcomes children and young people ordinarily up to 16 years of age at first referral who have a progressive illness or life-limiting condition. If you want to talk to Robin House about your situation, you can call them directly, the number is on the screen. Or if you prefer, you can talk to a professional who knows your family well, such as your GP, paediatrician, health visitor or social worker, who can contact Robin House on your behalf. Robin House staff will then contact you and arrange to talk about referral.